So some may be aware of these, others I know for a fact won't be. And that is, the four exclusive legendaries are part of this bloody harvest event all have secret perks. And after loads of testing on my behalf, I bring you today exactly what each does. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more Borderlands. Also guys, every week I give away copies of this game. To win one for yourself or a friend, simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. So with the Bloody Harvest, we get four exclusive legendaries tied to it. The Fearmonger Shotgun, the Gas Cool Grenade, the Stalker Sniper Rifle and the Scream of Terror Shield. Once this event ends on the 5th of December, these legendaries won't be in any loot pool, meaning they will be gone for good. Well, at least until Haunt returns next year, if that indeed happens. Now, firstly, these four legendaries are exclusive drops from Captain Haunt down in Heck Hole or Yellow Loot Ghosts. These items, these four legendaries, do not drop anywhere else. So the four legendaries, the Fearmonger, the Stalker, the Gas Cooler, and the Scream of Terror, these all have hidden perks. So let's check out how to activate them and also see what each does. So to activate these hidden perks you simply have to be under the terror buff. Whether you apply it to yourself or get hit by loot ghosts. You being under that terror effect though triggers hidden perks within these four legendaries. So with the fearmonger you can see after I apply terror to myself using my shield, a very important anointed item I recommend everybody get. That's because items like these will be needed to keep terror anointed items relevant after this event ends. Items that one way or another allow you to apply terror to yourself will be super necessary. So after I apply max stacks of terror to myself, let's say three times, you can see the standard four times fear monger shoots double its standard four projectiles. So with three stacks of terror, this thing shoots eight projectiles which is amazing. It consumes the same amount of ammo also so you won't burn through it any quicker. But you are in reality dealing double the damage. So what about the 8x Fearmonger, the rarer Fearmonger that shoots 8 projectiles per shot instead of the standard 4? Well upon again applying terror to myself it seems as though these also gain 4 extra projectiles. Although at first I could only see an extra 3, there's definitely after further inspection an extra 4 here under 3 stacks of terror. So that's pretty cool. So moving on to the Stalker, this is more or less the same. Under those 3 stacks of terror, instead of the usual 3 round burst shot, with 3 stacks of terror applied, it shoots 9 shots. So quite a drastic difference if I'm honest. I wish I knew about this when I originally reviewed this Stalker, it could have changed my mind on the weapon. So what about the Gas Cool, which in my opinion is the best of these 4 legendaries. This also has a great hidden perk which reveals itself under that terror buff. So as you can see here, we compare both instances at Gigamind under the same modifiers, one without terror, one with. We can see the one without terror and the damage done, also the number of ghosts spawned. But when you apply terror to yourself, you'll notice a 50% damage increase and a 50% ghost spawning in increase. Although I haven't actually counted these, there are clearly more that spawn in and the damage even though not all seek out and hit Gigamind, there's a lot of extra damage so that's pretty damn epic. So under the terror effect stack of 3, you're gaining a massive damage increase due to basically spawning double the ghost from the gas cool, which is just badass. So the shield, the terror and scream, well this is where it got a little difficult to actually work out, but I did get there in the end. So here the shield lets loose a piercing scream around yourself damaging enemies for 14,872 on shield break. And I knew it had something to do with this effect, I just didn't know what it was. Well the only way I could test this was to use the stalker which upon action skill end applies terror to itself, as this was usually the benefit of my previous shield. But as I am testing this, that went out the window. Another issue I had to figure out was breaking my shield and getting this effect to come into play. Luckily we on Zane have class mods which allow us to do this. But activating my action skill is indeed needed to activate terror upon myself using the stalker. So I had to do a little swapping out gear to test this. So if you are wondering what I am doing on screen while testing this, that's exactly it. So I'm applying terror to myself using the stalker and the exploit to activate it without using my action skill, then switching to the infiltrator class mod which breaks shield upon action skill start. So that's what I ended up doing. 
But firstly, I wanted to see damage effects this shield's area of effect did without terror applied. And well, it was minute, as you can see on the screen now. I then went ahead and did this the same way I mentioned by just swapping out gear. So applying three stacks of terror to myself and breaking my shield next to Giga Mind. And this turns his health bar green and literally makes him immune to damage. What's actually happening here, people, I believe, is you are actually terrifying him as he stops his normal mechanics and just wanders about for a few seconds. Now, I tried this numerous times to make sure it was the effects of the shield with the terror effect, and it is indeed that way. I tried this also on Taunt, and he acts exactly the same way with his health bar going green. I tried using the event exclusive weapons too while under this terror effect to see if they do any damage while these bosses have that green health bar but nothing seems to be happening. I tried a few things as well, it just seems as though the effect of this is to just basically terrify the enemy. Now there could be something more to this but I honestly don't think there is. I will keep experimenting though guys and if I find anything else I will be sure to let you guys know exactly what I find here on my channel. But these are the four Bloody Harvest Legendary Secret Perks. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.